Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Final Fantasy Randomizer Spring Tournament Monte Chaos's Casino. Uh, I'm here with my uh, partners, Demarine and Leggy Starscream, to bring you the roulette spin for determining our first week's element, as well as uh, announcing the pairings for our first round. 74 runners, right? 74 runners. This is by far the biggest tournament that the Final Fantasy Randomizer community has had. Six it, rounds of Swiss. It is incredible. Thank you all so, so much for coming out and supporting this. Um, I am just thoroughly blown away by how many people are showing up back when we were starting to design these flags in, like, what was it, November? Um, yeah, it was way back. <laughs> yeah, like, getting to 50 was a faint hope. Yep, and, uh, well, we passed 50, we passed those 50s, we were like, okay, this is going to be, you know, we're going to have to slightly extend the length of the tournament to uh, accommodate the number of players. But uh, we had that planned out, and now we're at 74, and we are, you know, deep into the, this is a big tournament realm. Uh, with 37 races for each week of the Swiss, and then a uh, knockdown drag out fight over 16 bracket slots. Yeah. Um, so while I get ready to roll the wheel, I need to get my uh, spitting of fingers ready. Why don't you talk about like what the general flag set we're going to be for those of us who are, haven't been prepping for this tournament? Well, we have uh, basically elemental themes going on here, which are the, the four elements are very slight variations on essentially the same flags. Um, in all four elements, all the incentive locations are the same, except for one, and that is uh, in each of them, one of the fiend dungeons is one of the... Uh, incentive locations that'll be guaranteed to have an item from the key item pool. Uh, Demi, do you want to talk about like kind of what goes on into that and how much we're getting into here? Yeah, so these are probably some of the deepest spring tournament flags we've seen. There's been generally a love of fairly, I mean, 20, 2018 was fairly straightforward flags, you know, with the vanilla fetch quest. 2019, while a little bit more complicated, I don't think really added this sort of level of granularity that we have because we're going to start with the ship much like last year um but also we have turned off marsh cave so marsh cave is never incentivized baseline but we've also taken the canal added it into the shuffle and not incentivized it so if you want out of the inner sea well it's not going to come easily for you um you're either going to get the rare the rare floater jet seed with a floater and canoe or you're going to be dredging dredging dungeons and hoping for a canal to get yourself out on the world, um, if you haven't been practicing your boat routing, I feel really bad for you because you're going to sail a lot in these flags. Um, that said, otherwise, it is three loose items, but it's only two per element week because one of the loose items gets eaten up by one of the elemental uh, dungeons. So there will be one of those chests added onto it. And our scaling is actually a slightly tighter, slightly more difficult scaling than we usually go for in spring. It's a baseline 200% enemies and 230% bosses. So Temple of Fiends is probably going to equalize a handful more people than you expect. Uh, level 19 fighter dives, please don't do that. I mean, don't embarrass yourself like that on stream. You're going but, to die. But this scaling does mean that those fiends could be made of paper. I mean, okay, you might not die, and, you know, you might you want to roll the dice on Kraken 2 having 350 hit points, you know, rolling up and dying to one Maza Swing, so let's, uh, or, you know, Tiamat 2 could just obliterate your party with a volley of nukes and 1,200 hit points. We don't know. It's all up to Chan. Yeah, so with that, let's find out whose dungeon we're diving this week. Spin that roulette wheel. <laughs> it's Kraken! Yeah, it's a first week mermaids. Lots of treasures for our runners. 
you know, that dive is lucrative as all get out as long as you don't need to loot the floor in between the top of Sea Shrine and the and the mermaid floor. Things are generally going to be pretty good for everybody, so this one should be real interesting. Yeah, and, and we're going to be getting diving right into the deep end here. And uh, with that, I think we'll start. Uh, we'll uh, generate our round one pairings and uh, start announcing those. All right, chat. Can I get a drum roll, please? That was pretty powerful. All right. <laughs> so we have our first pairing. Silverfire versus Zyrak? Oh, well, the Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise community has come out to play a little bit here. Zyrak is far more known for his forays into Free Enterprise. Um, generally a good mixed rando player. Uh, Silverfire's here. I'm not going to say nice oh, things about you. People know you. Um, up next... Thunderclawed versus Specty. Thunderclawed kind of came out in 2019 and was a later powerhouse. Uh, is an absolute hitter. Uh, is likely to make a run in this tournament. Probably a favorite to you know easily breach top 16 and make a deep deep run. Uh, Specty is old school back in the day. Uh, has been has been running this particular randomizer for a while. So, good to see Specty back, and hopefully they can uh, pull it together. Up next, Kyuketsuki versus Jay Cooper. Uh, Jay Cooper's been around for as long as randomizers have been around, basically. I think he was part of, like, the inaugural Z1 tournament five years ago. Uh, Kyuketsuki is a FF1 randomizer specialist, I believe. I'm unsure if, uh, if has played outside of this randomizer, but plays a bunch of different games uh, outside of FF1R. You know, generally, generally a a quiet commentator for the community. So been around for a bit, but not quite on the tier of Jake Over. Coming up next, Kenny Star seventy six versus Avos Ruin. I believe those are two of the newest faces to the community. So it's good to see some new folk coming on out here. And I bet they're both probably happy to uh, not have a seasoned veteran as their opponent. <laughs> hey, Demi. Yo. Do you think you could take Will Bloodworth? Do I think I could take Will Bloodworth? Because we're about to find out this week! Well, this is a... Uh, the commentary star uh, matchup here, isn't it? Uh, this matchup's going to be really, really good. Will Bloodworth's been around a long time, knows his way around a wide mix of parties, uh, mostly known for running Solo Thief. Uh, not much gets him down. I think he's tilt-proof. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. Coming up next. We have a question in, we have a question in chat, though. Can they commentate their own race? I suppose you could do a vodcast of your own race. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, up next, Cheesinator versus Caleb. Wow, that one's gas. Uh, two real solid runners. Uh, both of them, I think, haven't really made a deep, deep run in a tournament. Cheesinator probably a little bit closer to it, but they've both been really working hard. Uh, Caleb looking to avenge that one and four from last year, so this should be real interesting. Yeah, Chad is letting me know Cheese dumpstered a bunch of people in Chaos Rush and finished third third place in last year's Chaos Rush tournament. So if you've got a Jet Seed, you're probably going to roll up and lose to Cheese, which is not great. Okay. Coming up next, uh, Captain Nerd 2 versus Ganon's Gone Wild. More new faces. Silly, so, you know anything about these two? I can't say I know a lot about either of them. Uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of new faces. I'm actually real happy to see new faces facing faces. Yep, chat's lit this though. Ganon's gone wild, of course, from Link to the Past Rando. Captain Nerd's been doing a little bit of commentary, so 
Eh, they they're both on the newer side, so that'll be a real interesting matchup, though. Oh, Captain Nerd was in last year. Uh, I guess didn't make waves last year, so maybe we'll uh, break through and make some waves this year. <laughs> All right. Uh, here's some names you both should recognize: uh, Shadow Walker versus Salty Fry. Oh wow! So. Uh... Oh my. <laughs> I mean, Salty Fry's been around and plays basically every randomizer known to man, and uh, probably has top aided every randomizer known to man at this point. Um, you name a randomizer, Salty Fry has played it. Uh, what do you got to say about Shadow Walker, Sil? Uh, the first thing that comes to mind with Shadow Walker is that, uh, you know, absolutely dumpstering you when you two agreed to. Uh, have a chaos rush match over who would be a uh, server lead on the previous on a the previous community server. Yeah, Shadow Walker's dangerous. Runner up last year was the only person to take a game off of Crab Cakes last year. Um, as matchups go, I get yeah, you want to be there for that one. Yeah, that is those are some powerhouses indeed. Serious? I'm actually pretty. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Uh, go ahead. Versus Ali Jabrap. Oh, Ali Jabrap, one of the uh, the team math members uh, that uh, was on Demi and Mai's team in uh, the 2018 team league. Ali just made top 16. Did just get eliminated from the Dragon Warrior Randomizer League as well. So he's got some crossover appeal. Uh, Serenus is a real strong Chaos Rush runner, but you know also just has been around a while and has been sort of practicing and I'm sure is ready to rock and ride too, so this should be a fun matchup. Alright, coming up next, Ichbin Maya versus Ale Markin. This is kind of like an old blood versus new blood, isn't it? I mean, Ale's been around since late 18, so... Yeah, I, I want to say like Ale's kind of like ramped up in activity since then, though. And Ikvin Maya has been here since the inception of the community. Yeah, like like Ale has not been racing until recently, but Ale's been around around a while now. But yeah, Maya's in that Jake Ober been around a very very long time sort of category. Uh, maybe not quite as strong a runner as Jake Ober in a lot of different games, but here he's probably going to make some waves. All right. I mean, I don't think we're we're not here for a Zelda tournament. So. <laughs> Ooh, very, very fair. I like my chances in those two, though. At this point. Coming up next, we have Gouda versus Durin. Wow. Uh, yeah, Durin's. I think a newer name. I don't know if that's a name I've seen floating around before. Um, Gouda's been uh, helping run things on the server recently, doing Iron Gall stuff. Uh, you know, I suspect that, that Gouda's probably pretty happy about this, but again, a lot of these new names, you don't know what kind of work they've yeah. been doing in the I background. Mean, so. so, like, I happened to notice Duren's, like, intro of, like, hey, I signed up for this tournament, and yeah, newer runner, but, like, you know, has, like, indicated that they had a huge amount of nostalgia for the kid, and they just decided to dive into the deep end with, uh signing up for the tournament, and we love to see that. And the funny so, thing is, is that if, if this is your first flag set, right, you don't have any other ideas of how to play other than this, you can be real dangerous. It's true. Like, you just focus on one flag set. You don't have, you don't have like, preconceptions or, like, old metas tangling in your head. Coming up next, Grendelicious versus Demon RHK. Some more on uh, new player favorable RNG here. I mean, Demon RHK comes over from other randomizer communities, I believe. Yep. My memory serves was just in the Final Fantasy IV for Enterprise Gauntlet <laughs> League that was just going off right now. That's um, correct, but uh, you know, I want to say joined this joined the Discord this week and announced uh, himself as a new player that's diving right into the spring tournament. This will be exciting. These are both. This should be a real interesting matchup between new players getting their footing, and one of them is gonna get. One of them is gonna be one to know after this, which is awesome. Yeah, and we have Karant versus Sonny Wrath Eleven. 
Sonny Rath is uh, has been our, another one of the the team math from Demi and my team in the team league 2018. Has uh, kind of grown as a runner since 2018 and is fairly strong now. Certainly more known for running vanilla though, so you know maybe the randomizer will trip him up a little bit. I don't know. Uh, Caron's not Caron's fairly new. I think this if this might be first or second competitive tournament, but will be a real interesting matchup. But uh, Sonny is very strong, so I'd be. Be a little work. Sonny's very strong, but it looks like Karant has been actively practicing, so... More than I can say for some people in this chat. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Don't call Hi, me out I've like this, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> have I been dragging both of you for not practicing for this tournament? Yeah, I have. Not nearly <laughs> enough. <laughs> I'm, signed up. I'm, I'm, in, I'm signed up for three randomizer tournaments right now, thank you very much. I know. <laughs> All right. Coming up next, we have the real super pleb versus Groggy Dog. Well, a Groggy Dog is a uh, is a known name in the community. Has uh, contributed not only just racing, but also uh, has been one of our uh, graphic one of the graphics designers in the community, and some and uh, has done some other community work as well. So, uh, shout outs to the to the people that. Uh, behind the scenes that uh make this community what it is i'm pretty sure the real super club is fairly new as well but this should be it should be a pretty bang up match up here so it should be fun relatively new i don't uh hasn't been in a previous tournament but um you know has been in the discord and for a while now and uh has been practicing that's for sure because has been actively talking about practicing <laughs> Um, we have Lord Fizzle Beef versus Devio XS. Well, for those about to fall, we salute you. Lord Fizzle Beef is a threat. Uh, been around the block for quite some time. Has made some deep runs. Good showings at uh, OSV. Uh, good showing at last spring tournament. Good showing at uh, Chaos Rush. Uh, yeah, that that's that's gonna be scary. I really feel for Devious at this point. Yeah, newer, you know, the 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 new runner, uh, favorable RNG uh, didn't smile on him this time. So I mean, every every year there is a new player who absolutely gets sacrificed on the altar of a two plus year veteran in FFR. It feels like, and yeah, that's that's kind of how it's gonna go. Make Fizzle work for it. <laughs> Coming up Indeed, next. this is still randomizer there can still be equalizations <laughs> we have wild ham versus ragnarok Ooh. Uh, i know ragnarok's been one of our like is a relatively new player in the community but has been really active and, uh, like, probably, I want to say Ragnarok's going to be one of our dark horses in this tournament. Yeah, we'll see. We shall see, certainly. Gulith versus Math Girl. This is not a link to the past tournament, everybody. <laughs> Just <throwing it> out. <laughs> they are not going to be playing LTTPR. I'm, I'm, yeah, I was like that. That's a matchup straight out of like Link to the Past randomizer. I'm pretty pleased to to see them run a different randomizer. <laughs> This will be an interesting matchup. I just know both of them are fairly green at this point, so it'll be intriguing, if nothing else. Okay, our next pairing is Cinema V versus Seely Fay. Well, Seely Fay is another uh, another one of those creatives in the community, as well as made uh, contributions on dev work as well. Uh, Cinema B. Is not a name I recognize, and that would probably be because they have joined the Discord and stayed fairly quiet. Yep. Also, Guelph letting us know did just did the Dragon Warrior League as well last month, so lots of crossover. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, Cinema B, she's near letting us know Cinema B was hanging around the previous duck tournament, so it was part of, was was around a little bit. So, you know, still new, but should be sharp. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, like, you know, some of these players that have, like, not really talked much, that doesn't mean that they haven't practiced much. All right. We have Danny versus Uriel Man. Danny is our, uh, you know, the iron fist of the commentary team here. And uh, it's lovely to see her in the tournament as well, because I know that she had a little bit of trepidation signing up. So I'm really happy to see... I'm going to be watching this race just for that. Uh, Uriel Man, I know, has uh, kind of dove pretty quickly into the creative side of this community. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. It's going to be a pretty interesting matchup. Again, Danny is known for co-op, is known for, you know, being a being a sound player, but not not the fastest person out there, but a very solid uh, all-arounder. Yeah, she was uh, one of the two we grabbed for the uh, random number generation GDQ hotfix show. And despite, you know, you saying that she wasn't the, you know, not the fastest runner in the community, she does have a tournament win un under her belt. Not many runners can say that. Very true. <laughs> co-op co tournament uh, co-champion. All right, coming up next, we have Wab1024 versus Zenobian. Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's not good for Wab. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I think Zenobian is actually a little bit better than uh, than I think everyone's going to be giving credit for, and is real likely to make a deep run at this. Wab is a good runner, but I really think Zenobian's got an edge at this one. Yeah, Zenobian is another, Zenobian's another one of those uh, multi-randomizer players. Uh, <laughs> comments and chat about running uh, Worlds Final Collide, Fantasy yeah. VI Worlds Collide. <laughs> Which, you know... I heard is I heard is 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 a randomizer. <laughs> it is certainly a randomizer. Well, uh, coming up next out of our match randomizer, we have Rumblefish versus Asher. Well, Asher's uh, you know known in the community is one of our one of our elected arbiters, but uh, has also. Um, has been around a while and is uh, actually one of the people who helped uh, put together these flags. Really, it was the the source of like generating a lot of data to so that you know the rest of the the planning committee could like see you know how different flag sets in it were are likely to play out, and uh, that really helped us have a lot of perspective on the flags that ended up getting picked. Yeah, Rebelfish so. better. Rumblefish, by the way, on the other side of it, though, has been around a long time, runs a lot of different randomizers. Uh, this is this is the we just got eliminated from other tournaments matchup. Asher just got Asher was eliminated from Dragon Warrior randomizer and Rumblefish got iced in the Football Gauntlet tournament in for Free Enterprise. Oh, my. That's uh, an interesting. Uh, collision, then. <laughs> Coming up next, we have Dark Moon versus Wrigley Puff. Dark Moon, another another member in the uh, creative side, is actually responsible for uh, the uh, tournament layouts that we'll be using for this tournament, uh, with the lovely casino theme that goes along with Monty Chaos's ca casino. Gregory Puff, I believe, is what we lovingly call sneaky good. Uh, he's actually good. There's no real sneaky. Good, <laughs> yeah, but maybe maybe he's a little bit closer to sneaky great. Um, but this should be a this particular thing. This is a this is a tournament rematch, isn't it? A grudge match. Yeah, this is gonna this one's gonna be this one's gonna be a a, a big fight. I'm real excited for this one. Gregory, as everyone is mentioning, is the master of the black belt, uh, more so than damn near anybody out there. All right, uh, with that, we have J-Lo versus the Hangry Canuck. 
This is, uh, these are, again, we kind of have names that, like, we see in more than one randomizer community here. Yeah, I, that, that's always interesting. Uh, JLo's been, JLo's been all over the place in terms of randomizers. Uh, most of the Zelda randomizers play Z2R, five memory serves, among other things. Um, I could be wrong about that, so correct me if I'm wrong out there. Hangry Canuck, uh, Dragon Warrior, a little bit of free enterprise. I've been splashing around in that pool. Pretty big on FFR, though, so it'll be real interesting. Black Knight 39 versus Sho Fukumachi. Sho Fukumachi is that uh, one of the other racers we had on our GDQ showcase last month. And... Uh... You know, has been around in this community for a real long time. Black Knight isn't that new, but he's not, you know, hasn't been around for years and years. Right? Yeah, only since 2016, he's saying. But yeah, he's got 500 plus races of FFR under his belt on SRL. <gasps> um, you know, that said, six. that's only, only 500. since before the 1.0 release. <laughs> That's maybe than I've been in the community, and that's saying something. Maybe been around the block a little bit. No. All right, we have <laughs> Sketchy Metal versus Spell Zap. All right, so you know how we said that Devious had a bad matchup just a minute ago. Oh no! Is this? <laughs> We're sorry, Sketchy. We're really sorry. Hopefully Spell somebody Zap. will find your body. <laughs> Spell Zap's got a title. Spell Zap's uh, currently number one on the SRL rankings. Uh, Spell Zap is favored to probably take the whole damn thing. Uh, you know, at least it's in that short list of names of people who, if you said you had money on them, well, you don't gamble. You had gill on them winning the whole thing. Uh, people wouldn't look at you funny, so that'll be real. All right. We have Much Paranoia versus One Fine Day. Uh, paranoia joining over from another cross-randomizer uh, player coming over uh, from the Free Enterprise community is actually the uh, Hummingway Open champion over there. Uh, but just started learning this randomizer about a week ago. Anne has been preparing for matchups in the Free Enterprise <laughs> tournament. <laughs> Oh, but both, I, that's something I didn't know one fine day, pointing out that they both play Super Mario Brothers 3 randomizer. <laughs> yeah, much paranoia, actually, one of the admins over there as well. Uh, one fine day, more known for Spellcrafter and a lot of the code work in the actual randomizer itself. So one of the contributors on that yeah. front. Um, been around like, for a long of the, time. Of the dev commu uh, contributors, like one fine day is a strong racer, too. Yeah, good shot. Good shot for top sixteen. Certainly, we'll see if uh, we'll see if he could settle himself down into something a little bit more standard for the tournament here, because he likes the weird stuff and he's real good at it. Yeah. Uh, coming up next, um, well, I don't know how my odds are against Lord of the Synth, but here we go. Uh, are you playing Dragon Warrior? Luckily, no. I uh, bet Zelda one. Um. Free, free Enterprise. Uh, no? Definitely not that. You sure? Um, maybe, maybe you could convince him to play Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your, your odds would be good against against him in Pokemon Crystal. <laughs> this, okay. be a fun, this is a fun, fun matchup with two people who have been around a lot of different communities in a lot of different ways, which is always really interesting. So this should be fun. Yeah, and like, I'm here to have a good time, but I'm also here to make Lord of the Sith work for it. Not that I'll be able to, but I'm going to try. Uh, coming up next, Jazz Raptor versus Min the Mage. Min, one of the uh, relatively new members of the community, I want to say, but like very has been contributing a lot on the commentary side of things. Um, Jazz Raptor is real new, though. So, uh, I'm gonna, like, it's not a, uh, this isn't, like, a landslide match, but it's one that the runners will have to work for. 
Yeah, Jazz Raptor's been doing Jazz Raptor's been doing the duckling stuff. He's been practicing, so this will be interesting. I think this one's going to be a little tighter than I think we're giving it credit for at this point. Yeah, Min's been yeah, around Min's since Min's been around since like 2019, more, but, but uh, you know, you can get good at this game pretty fast if you focus practice. Yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. Up next, we have Ali Song versus Hypes Nova. Uh, Ali Song, another another person who just joined uh, joined up, pretty much just started learning this past week. Uh, I know because I've been teaching her. <laughs> um, and Hypes Nova, uh, I've seen kind of like around and participates in like participates very active in the community and. Uh, but I don't know very much about him. He's 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 a solid runner, a little bit loose, but not too loose. So he'll be pretty pretty darn solid. I I suspect that he's got a good crack at four two here, so it'll be real good. Also, <laughs> I'm I'm being corrected. It is actually pronounced Hypez. <laughs> mentioning that mentioning that this is a Super Metroid randomizer matchup here, so that'll be fun. <laughs> oh, nice! I love seeing these like a pair of players from a different randomizer community getting matched up in this. We keep seeing that, and it keeps being wonderful. Coming up next, we have Garbage Speedwalker versus Burt Reynolds. Well, uh, well, Burt Reynolds is uh, you know been around a while. Definitely a strong racer. Has some uh, tournament showings, although I don't think any f straight up wins. He's in that. He's in that. Don't sleep on him category because if you do, he's gonna sneak up on you and and take you down when you're not looking. So it'll be good. Oh, he'll be taking up a lot, taking down a lot of people who are looking too. I think. Yeah, this will be fun. Garbage Speedwalker is gonna get the. Uh... Gonna get a solid introduction to racing for Enterprise or of FFR, excuse me. Got a big oh, thank God we get an everything. airship. Oh, thank God we don't get an airship. Oh. And on that note, uh, Dengwu versus High Spirits. Uh, there's a lot of people in a lot of speedrunning communities who recognize the name of High Spirits. It's good to see him show up again for uh, for this. This is going to be quite a race. Because uh, though High Spirits isn't necessarily like hyperactive in the community, he is dang good at Final Fantasy One randomizer. Deng Wu has uh, some serious tournament showings under his belt too. This is going to be a real good race to watch. Yeah, Deng is Deng. Deng is one of those any given day will take someone out, and when I say someone, I mean pretty much anyone. So this should be a real fun matchup. Coming up next, the Queen herself. Crab Cakes takes on Demon Frog. Man, Demon Frog, you draw like butt in all of these. <laughs> <laughs> I was you, wondering. You so, the, Crab Cakes, the winner of the of the of the, you know previous winner of the spring tournament, and uh, still she's one of the best racers in the community. Uh, there are a lot of F's in chat going on right now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no. Demon Frog is pretty well known for bad luck draws in spring tournaments, and this is no <laughs> exception. <laughs> Welp. All right. After that, we have a Lastoid versus Life Reboot. Lastoid's one of the biggest. Uh, one of the biggest um, kind of you know tech people in the in the community when it comes to sort of thinking about how flag sets play out and everything. So uh, he's got some he's got some skill back there too. Life reboot fairly new, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong on that one. Probably somebody who's been in the duck like program recently, if my memory serves now, because we were getting the duck chance out. Um, but yeah, that should be a fun little matchup too. I think I think life reboots are going to be a little bit of that. You know, might sneak around three three and you know take someone out in the process. All right. Yep. We have Tarnin versus F4LC. Uh, that is, uh, I believe that is Falconic, right? That is. This matchup's, this is a real silly matchup. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I am expecting some shenanigans to happen when if these two choose to draft against one another. Oh, we we're, we're going to see some. You know, these are two runners thieves. who love shenanigans. Oh, we're gonna we might see some thieves. We might see some black belts. We might we might not see any mages. I don't know what's going to happen. Look, uh, but yeah, they both they both love their wacky silliness. It's going to be great. No matter who wins, the restreamer will be exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, dips are not dips are not restreaming this one. <laughs> oh, but somebody's gonna have to do it because people are gonna watch that. And oh yeah, no. be still watching that at far at four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have Russian Bishop versus Brotster. This is a Z1R tournament, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, right? Z1R. Yes. No. No, oh. no, this is not a Z1R tournament. <laughs> no, uh, X Russian Bishop is known for Z1R, a little bit of Z3R um, around the Zelda communities, and is a good runner in all of those games. And so it's good to see, good to see him out here for FFR. Uh, Brot is Brot is nasty good at many, many, many games, uh, including this Brot's, one. Including this one, <laughs> um, Brot's been around this community since I believe seventeen, um, if not sixteen. He's been he's been around a long time. Uh, also speed runs a bunch of games like he's just been all over there so it's pretty great um i i just got uh pinged on discord that garbage speedwalker also known as rojo ah okay so um, one of the people who's been in the duckling program and has made some waves there it's a little bit more interesting than uh than i made it out to be yeah uh speaking of interesting we have uh me uh, Copying the wrong line out of the yeah. sheet. Me ha fine. facing some technical difficulties. Please hold. Uh, da, 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 da. Magius versus Durindres? 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 I have no idea how to pronounce that. I am so sorry. Well, um, you know, these are two relatively new Darren players Price. in this community. I've uh, I've seen Magius around in a few other randomizer and uh, RPG communities in general. Um, Darren Dries, apparently. Thank you, chat, for uh, correcting our pronunciation. Um, you know, this is you know, this is another one where it's like, you know, these might not be the strongest runners, but uh I would say it's probably at least not a very not a mismatch in terms of skill and uh could lead to an interesting watch. And last holy heck, we've gone through them all. This has been so many matches. But certainly not yeah, I'm least. off the top of the top now. <laughs> we have Cal Subalu versus Sledge. Wow. <laughs> that should be a fun matchup. Uh Cal has been around a fair bit uh, doing Duck Lake stuff and it's been you know, been around for about a year now. Um, Sledge is a little bit newer than that, but it's been, been jamming the practice. This should be a fun one. Yeah, these are two ducklings that have been really jamming practice lately. One of them's going to be in the 1-0 bracket making someone's life miserable next week, too, which is going to be pretty great. <laughs> um, but Did you say we're finally done with these? This is a lot of racers. Yeah, this is a lot of racers. A lot of really, really hype races. Let me see if I can get them to all fit on screen. My God. Yeah, there we go. That is all of them. Whew. Take that screen cap for posterity. 74 people. <laughs> Once this is submitted into the back end, though, we have a lovely... Uh player portal as well as a uh, viewer spectator portal for uh, people to check standings and matchups etc so thank you Fred Coughlin for providing us that back end that we're uh, using to organize this tournament uh, it'll also be how you schedule your races yeah 
Um, I'll need to uh, budget a bit more time because we are at 40 minutes. 34 map pairings is a lot. Yeah, we did a lot of talking, but yeah, this is it. This is the big one. Um, the largest FF randomizer tournament of all time. Uh, kicking off uh, in a little bit. I, Will Bloodworth trying to arrange the first matchup for 10.30 tonight, because we do have a slot on speed gaming for the opener. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but, you know, if you're out there and there's two of you and you want to race this, you want to race tonight, uh, you want to get it on, on speed gaming and you want to... Uh, to get this get this party started, please by all means get in touch with Will Bloodworth. Yep. Uh, and uh, let's see. I'll get. I have some announcements to make on the Discord for you know giving people links so that they can schedule their matches and such. <laughs> yeah, there's a scheduling back end and everything. It's real pretty. It's real nice. I think I hit the right button to make these matchups happen. It looks like you did, because I'm looking at it, the data you just generated, and yeah. Excellent. Heck yeah. Yep. All right. Well, cool. everybody, keep keep an eye on the Discord um, you, you, so that you can get access to the matchup spreadsheet so that you can schedule your matchup, contact your contact your opponent as soon as is possible, at least get the uh, get the wheels greased. If you are having a difficult time reaching your opponent, please let an administrator or tournament staff member know. Please feel free to ping at tournament staff for that if it really comes to it. You know, don't ping us tonight. Give it a day or two. Seriously. <laughs> um, but otherwise, we want to get this uh, get this kicked off. 37 races a week. Uh, a lot of really good runners. This is going to be a lot of fun. If you're not excited, I don't know what you're doing if you're not excited. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching this little uh, show. It takes a... I did not realize how long it would take to roll up all 74 players on here. Uh, in about 45 minutes, we'll have that inaugural race. Um, yep. And of course, and of course, we should be... We should raid... We should raid F. Coughlin, actually. He's about to go live with Z1. Um, <laughs> so we should give him some love. Give him so, some love yes. for this lovely <laughs> turn back end that is... Uh, Hashtag. Is, you know, generated all these matches for you is also, you know, it, makes the scheduling is. and everything easy for both runners and admins, easy to check the standings. So, so please, so please thank so Fred. much. To, so please so thank, much. thank you yeah. so much, Fred. Yeah. So, so please doubt, thank Fred when we get over there. When in doubt, blame Fred. I also blame Fred. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all so, so much for coming out to uh, watch this. Uh... And I'm just waiting for the raid countdown to finish. Bye, everybody. See you soon.